Okay, uh, hey guys, this is a video about blog updates and converting them to redstone currents. This is, as you may hear, my first, the first time my voice goes public, so uh, please bear with me, I'll add subtitles or something. <laughs> um, this is a video response to Aso's lab, because he made version of it and well I wanted to show there are many many more versions of while well, converting blog updates to redstone current so here it goes enjoy okay hi I'm CX and I'm going to explain about converting blog updates to redstone current this first type is a bug with the repeater not updating properly there's a lot of bugs with repeaters Firstly, when you place this wire, because it com becomes powered, it will update two blocks further, because when wire becomes uh, powered or unpowered, or the same with torches, it will always update two blocks around it. Normal block updates will only update one block, so when I remove this, it's not being unpowered, it's a normal block update, it's removed, so it will only update this block, and this block won't be, uh, well, this repeater won't be updated, so it remains on until the next block update, it will go off. So there's your uh, current. This is resettable when we use it, we're using an, a block to block off this, well, wire. That's the same effect as, well, removing the wire. Uh, when I press this button, this wire will on. This will be, this wire will go off. Then this one will shove the block to here, making the wire go straight to it. Then, um, yeah, the wire becomes powered, enabling this repeater and the output. And then the piston will retract, and the wire will be in this position. See, the uh, repeater is still on now, that's the bug. When we blog update, it will go off. It's working. So, the next uh, kind of thing is discovered by Ray57. This uh, lever is has a wire connected to it. It's long enough to power the piston. The other one is not so fortunate it's just about two blocks short so when we enable this wire first and then this wire the repeater won't go on because when this repeater uh, lever goes on it will power this wire first but because this one is already powered it won't check and recalculate the rest of the wire so it won't go on a blog update I'll use something different now will force that recalculation and it will go on. Um, you can make this uh, resettable very easily. Um, this repeater is now off. I'll plug it. Date. It's on. It can be easily reset. Bam. That just one not take delay, two take delay, the same thing I did there. Okay, and this final one is just a piston blog update issue which I don't think this can be fixed easily so when you power this piston it should be pushing the stack of blocks but the obsidian keeps it from pushing it so when you remove this block it needs to be at a minimum distance three blocks in between you can go further but if I would remove this block it would toggle so yeah when you update a block adjacent to the piston, it will move and that will forward the currents to your outputs. Uh, this one is, well, it's not very easy to make resettable, so that's, I don't recommend it. Uh, the next thing is, well, just, it's a block update issue, you may not know, but pistons they can they can take power from two blocks up 
not down only up and well one up and one sideways and when you power it with a wire it sh it's it should be powered but it's not due to a block update and a block update will cause it to toggle when you unpower it same principle um, now this is interesting the same principle for pistons is applied to power trail or trail can receive power from that high up uh, yeah you can even power it like that but then of course it will need a block update bam it's magic okay that concludes my video i hope yeah i learned you learned something and yeah okay